We're here in the studio today with Dan Smith of Vail Mountain Rescue, and you're one of my favorite guests. I always hear you when I'm out and about doing epic mornings, just uh, having an interview with Sassy, and you've got such fascinating tales of rescuing people, and it's kind of insane how the situations people get themselves into. Like, we were just saying, how many rescues were there this week? Five on uh, Friday through Sunday. Yeah. Uh, now, not all of them, all were rescues. Uh, we didn't resolve all of them. Uh, Fire, I believe, resolved. We had an ATV accident at Camp Hale. Fire resolved that one. We had a lost hiker that uh, popped out of the woods. So I guess that's self-resolved. <laughs> uh, two stuck vehicles, uh, one of which turned out to be in another county. But for each of these, it takes us about an hour to spool up, get people ready. And that's about the time you found out, find out somebody else did it or it's not in your county or something. And then we had a, a large one uh, down on Mount Wilson. A guy had broken his leg in the morning. And that he was at somewhere above 13.5. Yeah. Uh, and we had to send the Blackhawk down, but we didn't catch the mission. Nobody, uh, the system didn't produce it. He couldn't get his cell phone to work and so forth. It's about four in the afternoon. So then, now you run out of daylight because you're about 200 miles away. It's a long run for the hawk and you're there in the dark there's a, a high risk in helicopter operations anyway and when you do it in the dark in very high winds in mountains you don't know yeah you, we may have guys may have flown to Wilson once or twice but it's not like Holy Cross where you know every rock um, and we're gonna wait till oh yes yeah. you can't it's not just an open field yeah. that you can see no, this is this is above way above tree line it's just dense rock yeah uh, and people even in red jackets don't stand out real well in rock yeah and turned out they were able to force a ground team in to get him to a landing zone where Flight for Life could come in and pick him up, which is the right answer. Yeah. But we're ready to go, and uh, the, the, there's about four or five running hours in there. While you try and put that together, you have to get uh, authorization for the helicopter from Air Force Rescue Coordination Center, and then you have to get authorization from the guard, and you have to do quite a few other things to put it together, and you have to find people. Yeah, the uh, people and the... We have two uh, that are on standby, but the one guy on the schedule was hurt in a climbing accident in Estes Park, so we quickly had to find another climber that could do it because you're dropping people onto 70 degree slopes. Yeah. So we, we had an interesting weekend, all yeah. told. Uh, the gate to Tiguan Road, which is the route to Holy Cross, and the Red Sandstone Road, which is the route into Piney, both open on thir last Thursday. Okay. So uh, they're here. So it's <laughs> allowing more people to access the yes. backcountry and just ramping things and up for you. a lot of our guests don't actually realize this is not Central Park or South Beach or, or Sheboygan. <laughs> yeah. uh, our rules are different here. Yeah. Um, things behave different here. And you have to adapt what you're doing to uh, the behavior. There's 50 degree temperature variation today. So uh, it's fine if you go out dressed for the temperature right now because you can just start peeling things off. But if you go out about, oh, two in the afternoon and you're in shorts and tevas and you've got a, a a sweatshirt tied around your waist and a half empty grocery store water bottle in your back pocket and you're carrying your Starbucks cup um, and then you get stuck or break an ankle or something you're not going to have a good experience oh it's, it's going to get very cold up there we always try to stress to bring the the right layering pieces yeah. and rain jackets yeah. and sunscreen and water and it's for these reasons because oh, yeah. it's, it's unpredictable out there Absolutely. in the wild yeah yeah so hopefully people are heating us it um, would be nice and most do but you know of the hundreds of thousands of guests we have in a year we rescue maybe 125 to 160. okay uh, Which, all all issues all all it's like hazards a, not a huge percentage no. so that's good so most people are paying attention um well i got another another great four minutes with you dan right. coming up but first we've got ashley with our weather report